Hi guys, it's Joe here at Measurement Solutions. A couple of weeks ago we ran a webinar where we showed you the lightweighting capabilities that are possible within Entopology. So for those of you who missed it, I just wanted to run through a quick highlights reel and show you the workflows that went into saving 50% of the cost, weight and material usage of these really complex parts. So first we're going to bring the step models into Entopology and isolate just the left hand side of this clamp. I'm going to convert it into an implicit body and split out the mounting faces, the interfaces and the areas of all the bolt holes as we're going to use these a bit later on. The first thing I need to do is convert the model into a mesh. I'm going to split the body out as a variable as we'll need this a bit later. Then all I need to do is drag and drop the implicit body into this block and the workflow is going to create a surface mesh and then a volume mesh ready for the topology optimization. From here we need to set up our displacement restraints and our forces. Again I'm going to split the faces out into variables as we're going to use these later on. So I'm going to make a variable for the displacement faces, for the vertical forces and for the 90 degree forces. So now I just drag and drop my face lists from my CAD model. So I'm going to drag and drop my interfaces. I'm going to take my vertical forces which I've got saved here and my 90 degree forces which are these faces here. I'm going to drag these into the variable blocks and now we have a fully meshed model with some displacement restraints and some forces. Next we're going to set up our passive regions. So there's some areas of the topology optimization that we want to make sure are kept. These are our mounting faces and our bolt holes that we split out earlier. I'm going to drag and drop these into this block here and these are going to set up our passive regions. Now the topology optimization is ready to run. And here are the results from our optimization. So as you can see, we've got nice, clean, crisp areas in those passive regions that we asked the optimization to keep. And we've just got material in areas of stress paths. So we've got rid of all of the unnecessary material. The next thing we'll do is pass it through a smoothened body block. And now we've almost got our final part. The last thing we need to do is add a lattice in the areas that hold the scanner. So to do this, we're going to go back to our original CAD model and split out the faces that we want to use for our lattice. I'm just going to drag and drop them into this block and this workflow is going to create a lattice in those areas. We just need to add this to the final Boolean union and this is going to create our final part. So as you can see, we've now got a final part that's topology optimised and has a lattice in the areas to hold the scanner. Now, as we went through the process of building this workflow, we'd split out quite a few variables. And there was a good reason for this, because now I can take all of these variables and drop them into my input section. And I can take my final part and drop it into my output section. And this means that I've created a custom block and we can reuse this custom block in any instance of Entopology and use it for any model that we like. So now I'm going to start a brand new instance of Entopology and I'm going to bring in my CAD models, my left-hand side and right-hand side clamp. We've already split out the faces that we need, the interfaces and the force faces. Now I can just bring in a custom block, copy and paste it to the right-hand side, and just populate it with the implicit body and the various CAD faces that we need. I can do this for the left-hand side and again for the right-hand side. Now Entopology is going to run through all of those processes that we created in the previous workflow and it's going to give us the final results. And here are those final results. So we've got our two brackets that have been topology optimised to reduce as much weight as we can. And we've got areas of lattice to hold the scanner. You can see with the models next to each other that we've saved a huge amount of weight, a huge amount of material in this optimization. So this has been a really quick run through of everything we went through in the webinar. But if you want to see it in more detail and see exactly how we built this workflow, then please feel free to give us a shout and we can send you a copy of the recording. Cheers.